The JCR provides a comprehensive suite of metrics so you can evaluate a journal beyond a single number. Let's compare and contrast two key metrics, the journal impact factor and the journal citation indicator to help you to begin to develop multidimensional journal evaluations. Let's start by understanding what each metric measures. Both the GIF and the JCI measure journal impact, but they accomplish this in different ways. The journal impact factor measures the number of citations a typical article or review received in the JCR year. If a journal has a GIF of 3.2, you could say that the typical article or review in that journal has been cited about three times, one or two years after publication. The journal citation indicator measures the normalized citation impact of a journal compared to its peer group. It examines how the journal's actual citations received compare to what would be expected for publications in the same field. A JCI of 1.0 indicates average performance. If a journal has a JCI of 1.5, you could say that it had about one and a half times the average citation impact for its field. So let's summarize with an example journal. In this case, the typical article or review has been cited about six times in the JCR year, and the journal has about 1.3 times the average citation impact for its category. There are a few key differences to focus on when comparing the GIF and the JCI. Normalization, time period, and cited items. The GIF is an absolute metric, meaning it has not been normalized to account for differences in citation behavior across research disciplines, time, or document type. It is a simple ratio of citations received divided by items published in a specified time period. Whereas the JCI is a normalized metric that is standardized to a scale where 1.0 indicates average performance. It is normalized to correct for three variables, field, article age, and article type. An absolute metric like the GIF is best used to compare journals within the same subject category because citation patterns differ across fields, while a normalized metric like the JCI allows for comparison more broadly across subjects. These metrics also differ in the time period they examine. The GIF is a snapshot of a journal's citation activity in a calendar year. The numerator examines how many citations the journal received in the current JCR calendar year to its published items from the previous two years, while the denominator includes citable items from the previous two years. The JCI includes citations from the current year and the past three years to citable items from the prior three years. For example, the 2022 JCI would include citations from 2019 to 2022 and citable items from 2019 to 2021. Use the GIF for a recent view of citation activity. It's not a mathematical average, but it provides an approximation of the number of citations to typical articles or reviews in the current JCR year. You can view GIF trend data to see the changes in this number over time. Use the JCI for understanding a journal's citation performance against its peers over a longer three-year window. Because it's a normalized metric, you can also use this for comparisons outside of the immediate subject category. The GIF numerator includes all citations made to any item published in the journal in the previous two years and is not limited to only the citable items. The JCI only counts citations made to the citable items. Any citations to non-citable items, for example letters, news, or editorials, are not included. The journal impact factor and journal citation indicator provide complementary perspectives on a journal's performance, so it makes sense to use them together in your evaluations. Move beyond a single metric for more comprehensive journal evaluations.